In this video, we'll be completing a sample calculation using one of the gas laws. A 12 liter tank of oxygen is at 65 degrees C. The pressure is 13 atmospheres. If the gas is allowed to cool to 25 degrees C, what is the new pressure? So there's a lot of information going on here. We should maybe read this again to decide which gas law we're going to use. So we have a 12 liter tank. It's at 65 degrees. The pressure is 13 atmospheres. Now it cools to 25 degrees and it asks for the new pressure. So we're going from 65 to 25. It's at 13 atmospheres to begin with and they're asking what the final pressure will be. So we're dealing with temperature and pressure. So that's going to be Gay-Lussac's law. So let's write down the formula for Gay-Lussac's law. Now, the fact that it, it has given us the volume of the tank, it turns out that's just superfluous information um, thrown in there to kind of um, make things more challenging for you. So you really don't need this 12-liter this volume for anything. Well, let's plug in what we know. We know that the initial pressure is 13 atmospheres. And they're asking for the new pressure. So for P2, we'll just write P2. Now all we have to do is plug in the temperatures. Of course, keeping in mind that temperature must be in Kelvin. So it starts at 65 degrees C. So let's use the formula. The temperature in Kelvin equals the temperature in Celsius plus 273. So if we're at 65 degrees plus 273, well, the temperature in Kelvin is 338. So that's our T1. Our T2, well, we'll use the same equation. We're cooling down the sample of oxygen gas to 25 degrees C. So the final temperature will be 298K. So when we solve for P2, we should get a final answer of 11.5 atmospheres.